What's up guys? I am Sarah Caney. Thank you so much for coming back. We have another awesome video today. We are going to be reacting to the two types of people there are in the world. But before we get into it, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Links are all down below. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And yes, I know my bangs are super long. I am getting them trimmed in a couple of days, but yeah. And yes, I can barely see. But moving on, let's do this. How to fart. What the? Who's Googling how to fart? It's not rocket science. I do it all the time. I didn't say that. <laughs> how to fart less and how to fart more. <laughs> Who wants to know how to fart more? That's disgusting. I mean, I get it's a natural thing. Trust me, I do it all the time, but I don't want to do it more. It's nasty. <laughs> I remember in math class, I tried to do one of those silent farts but those are the worst. They smell really bad and I didn't know that. So I just let it out and then everybody in the classroom was like, ew, and they all knew it was me for some reason. Soon as I did it, I was like, oh, who did that? All right, it was me. Who is searching how to fart on command? <laughs> I bet this was a boy that Googled this or it was me back in seventh grade. Red or blue Pokemon? Ooh, that's a tough one. I'd have to go with blue just because I love Squirtle. He's so adorable and he shoots water and he looks like a turtle. Who doesn't love turtles? I don't know, Charizard though, he's pretty cool. He was like, he was the legit Pokemon that everyone loved. He's a freaking dragon. How could you not love Charizard? Eh, I'd probably, I'd still go with blue though. Man, do any of y'all still have Game Boys? That was my first like gaming thing I got when I was younger. If you still have one, comment below. Rolled up or scrunched up toothpaste? Ooh, <laughs> I'm the scrunched up. I try doing the roll up thing, but I get lazy and I'm just like, get out of there. It's too much effort. I'm sorry, I'm a lazy person. Comment below what kind of toothpaste you use. I use Crest backwards or forwards hat. For me, I'd say backwards, but I rarely wear hats because of my bangs now, but my boyfriend always wears it backwards. Who are these people? <laughs> what kind of face is that? He looks like a dolphin. And the other guy's just like, what are you doing? Does he play for the dolphins? Is that what the football teams are called? <laughs> hey, how are you? Do much this weekend? I ended up getting that top we saw the other day. Oh dang, she's one of those people that just sends a thousand texts that could have been in one paragraph. I'm the one on the right where I just put it on one message. You don't have to send 500 texts for one sentence. Which one are you? Let me know. That way I know if we can be friends because that one on the left drives me crazy. Chocolate or vanilla? You guys know. I love chocolate. Ooh, I love those um stick thingies in the chocolate ice cream. I forgot what they're called, but they're so good. Vanilla ice cream is pretty good though too. I like French vanilla and I like strawberry and fudge. Let's see what else we got. I used to love cookie dough. I used to be religious about mint chocolate chip ice cream. That was my ice cream growing up. Like I ate it every night. Dang, now I want some ice cream. They make it look really good. Crust or no crust? Uh, it depends on the crust. It depends on where you get your pizza from. I really love Domino's. Their crust is, it's pretty good, but normally I don't like crust because usually they burn it and they don't care about it. So they just like don't focus on it. But if it's nice and soft and not all hard and burnt, yeah, I'll eat the crust. I remember when stuffed crust became a thing. That stuff is so good. Ugh, I got hair in my eye now. Comment below your favorite kind of pizza. Mine's cheese. I actually just had pineapple pizza for the first time yesterday, and I was really hoping I would actually like it, but no, I still hated it. So pineapple does not belong on pizza. Okay, do you do the cereal and then the milk or the milk first and then the cereal? You do the cereal first. That is the right way. I don't care what anyone says. You do the cereal first. If you put in the milk first, then that's just weird. Cause then when you put the cereal in, it's gonna overflow. You don't know how much cereal you're gonna put in there. So the science is wrong. And then your cereal gets all soggy and bleh. What's y'all's favorite kind of cereal? I think mine right now is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but I used to be really obsessed with Cap'n Crunch. I don't know, I like a lot of things as long as they're food. Stand and wipe or sit and wipe? <laughs> Ew, that's so gross. But um, 
I'm a sit and wipe. The caption below this, when I saw it, was actually, the funny thing is, one doesn't know about the other. And I was like, that's true, I didn't know people stand and wipe. This dude looks like really happy to be going to the bathroom. I mean, sometimes, you know, you really gotta go and you had to hold it in for a while. So when you finally get to the bathroom, it feels really good just to get it out. That's disgusting, but you know what I'm talking about. So I bet he's been holding this for a good minute and now he's just like, yes. Ooh, Kit Kat, I love Kit Kats. Okay, how do you guys eat it? Do you break off a piece the right way, how you're supposed to? Or do you just bite it like an animal? I used to do that, I tried it, but it literally made me cringe. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not doing this right. How could I have done such a terrible thing? Kit Kat, that used to actually be my favorite candy when I was younger. It was my first love, because it's all chocolatey and crunchy and you break it off in bits so it lasts forever. And then I found Snickers. Dipping or drizzling? Okay, I do both because I want some ketchup already on there, but there's always gonna be pieces you didn't get to because the french fries are over each other. So then you gotta dip it. Ketchup everywhere. Ketchup is so good though, guys, and french fries are amazing. I just had some last night and they were so good. I'm literally obsessed with food. Those fries look good. We got, uh, what do you call those? Like string fries and then steak fries, I think? I don't know the terms, I just know they're good. Empty or full? Mine's empty, because I don't know why. It just drives me crazy seeing that notification. I'm like, can you go away, please? So I always just empty it out as soon as it like shows a pop-up. Cause I like, I like a clean screen. I don't want these random little red dots all over my phone. My dad's phone is just like that. He never opens his emails. So it's just like in the 10,000s <laughs> or he used to do that at least. I don't know what he does now. Over or under, oh my gosh. This is the biggest debate that my boyfriend and I have ever had. He likes it under, I like it over like a normal person. If you look at the original patent for whoever created this toilet paper thingy, he showed it going over. I used to be an under person, not gonna lie, I used to growing up, but then I realized how amazing it was flipping it. So comment below if you're an over or under and then go tell Dang Matt Smith that he's doing it wrong. All right, you the type of person that sets like 10 alarms or one. I used to be able to set one, but then I slept through it a few times and I had to start setting like five. Even though now I always wake up with the first alarm, but now I'm super paranoid. So I have to set at least five alarms for every like five minutes up to when I actually need to get up. Dang, this person has 36% left on their phone. Why are you up before noon, you crazy? I'm sleeping until 2 p.m. like a normal person or just a lazy person. There are two types of people. People with lots of children going to Disney and you have the stickers and everything, happy family. And then there's the couple with a lot of money. <laughs> yep, you either have kids or you have a lot of money. <laughs> That's not a lie, that is so true. Why these people have to park right next to each other? They are so happy. They're like, yep, we don't have kids or responsibilities. We have money. And you can tell by the difference in the cars. <laughs> the people with kids have a van, which there's nothing wrong with that. And then the people with no kids and money have this Dodge. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a Challenger actually. That's a nice car. I used to want one of those, but yay money. And then there's people like me who have no kids and no money because my life sucks. I'm kidding, I have you guys now, so my life doesn't suck anymore. And that is it for today's video. Comment below if you're like me, like on any of these questions, if you're the same type of person. I want to know if I'm crazy or if there's people like me out there. But I hope you loved today's video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are all down below. And subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you can get notified as soon as I post a video every day. And if you look in the description box below, there are links to a few of my other videos along with collabs with Dang Matt Smith, who's also my boyfriend. So you have plenty of other videos to binge and if you run out, I'm gonna post another one tomorrow. And that's it. So I'm gonna see you beautiful people next time.